Okay, this is the 9x9 nine nine puzzle from November the 7th. So let's do this a little bit slower. I'm going to fill out the single cells, which I'm sure everybody could do. Let's do them all first. Keep this simple. Okay, that's all the single cells. Now we can look for any cells that, any cages that have only unique answer, for example, nine times that can only be one and nine in any order. Twenty times is four and five. Nine division, that's one and, oops, one and nine. Uh, Forty-two, that's six and seven. Okay, this one, obviously, there is seven. So we can go ahead and bold that. Let's see, what else? Okay, here's eighteen times. There's a three there, so you cannot have three times six. It has to be two and nine. Okay, we'll just put it this way so we don't get that error. This 24, it can be 4 times 6 or 3 times 8. Here's a 4, so it has to be 3 times 8. Uh, let's look at other things. Okay, how about this one? Now we know that this can only be 5 plus 6, okay, or 4 plus 7, 3 plus 8. Okay, none of those are possible, so two and nine. Okay. Now if you do the division of this five hundred and eighty eight, you'll find that the prime prime factors there's two sevens in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put them anywhere. Okay. Um actually let's put them here, I'll show you later. Now here eight hundred and forty Okay, so prime factors, you have to have a 7 and a 5 somewhere. Okay, since there's one 7 here, okay, in these two columns, there's at least one 7, and then in here, there has to be only one other one, so there's two here, so the one has to go there. So I'm going to move this 7 over here. Okay, are you with me so far? We'll look at some other things here. Um, now, you can do it many different ways, but I'm going to do the sum of this column here because we know everything except these two. Okay, this one's either a 1 or a 9, and we don't want to know what that one is. Okay, so if you add all of these together, you'll get, let's see, 1825 and 35 and 41. So 41 is the sum of these cells, and it should be 45. Okay, so this one has to be a 9. Yeah, sorry, 1. Okay, remember it was 41 has to be 45, so this one has to be 1 and 3, because the sum is 4. Okay, so let's go back to here. This is 1 plus 7, not possible. 2 plus 6, possible. 3 plus 5 is not possible, so we'll go ahead and put a 2 and a 6 there. 4, 5, and 9. Okay, so we can see that these have to be in a certain order. Okay, now if you look here, there's a 9, and there's a 9 here. Okay, both in these two rows. So this 9 has to be up here, it can't be in either of these rows. You'll also see that there's a 5 here, which means that this 5 has to be in this row, and so this 5 needs to be down there, like that. Okay. And then if you go here, this 5 has to be down there. So both those. Okay, coming back over here, if you figure this out, 
um, what's left is 12. Okay, that's either 3 times 4 or 2 times 6. Okay, we have a 3 and a 4 here, so we can't have 3 and 4 down here, obviously, so it has to be 2 and 6 in some order. Um, okay, uh, what else here? Okay, this was 840. If you divide it by a 5 and a 7, you're left with uh, 24, which is either 4 times 6 or 3 times 8. Because there's two fours already in this these two rows, it has to be three and eight now. All right, we'll put it like this. Okay, we'll just correct this here so we don't get that. I just like to do this, so I'll just do this. Okay, same. They're the same four numbers. I just uh, arranged it so that there wouldn't be any conflicts. I just like to look at it that way. So now, if you look at the top row you'll see that that you have to have 2 and a 6 here because there's no 2 or 6 in, in these places. So we'll do that. And the only one that can go there is a 2. Okay, uh, because you can't have another one. All right, so it has to be in this order. Okay, come back down here. There's a 2 there, so what does this become now? It can only be a 1 and a 5. Um... Okay, and if you come back on this, 6 times, it's 1 times 6, or 2 times 3, but now we know we can't have 3 because there's a 3 there, and there has to be a 3 in here, either here or here. So, we'll go ahead and type 1, 6 and 1. Uh, we can bolt these now, actually, because here's a 2, and then if you keep looking it, there's a 2 there, so bolt th those two. Oops. don't know what happened there and you can bolt those. You can bolt this too because there's a 2 there. And what's left in this row? That's an 8. Okay, and the only one that's the difference of 1, there's a 9 there, so this has to be 7. Okay. Um, okay, now uh, let's see. What do we do next? Okay, let's see. I don't think we can do that one yet. Let's do something else. Um, one and six and seven. Yeah, if you look this row, you can find that you're missing one, six, and seven in these three places. We already have a one and a seven there, so that has to be a six. 1 and 7 will be there in some order, so the difference that is left is 4. Okay, some of this will take a little bit of searching to find it. Here's an 11 plus, now we have enough information to fill that. 5 and 6, not possible. 4 and 7, not possible. 3 and 8 is possible. 2 and 9, not possible. Okay. I did in this order because there's an 8 there, so I put the 8 over there. Uh, now, what's left in this row is 2 and 5. There's a 2 right there, so this has to be 5. Okay, that's a 1. Alright, 2 is there. Okay. Now, you can do this various ways, but one thing I did that's very easy to find is if you take the sum of these two columns, you'll find that what's left in this unknown, like you have all the sums of everything, but what's unknown is 10. Okay, so the, the biggest number in here has to be a 5. Okay, and then the others have to be add up to 5. So it's 1 and 4 or 2 and 3. Here are two ones, so this is 2 and 3 in some order. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and... I don't, I don't like to see this. Okay, and... Well, we could just fill in the rest of the numbers just because it doesn't really matter, but... Um, whoops. I'll do this. Okay, so we'll be able to see this soon. Um, that? Three and nine. Okay, so now because we know there's a two there, two is here, so two has to be in this row, 
this cannot be a 2 anymore. You sort of go down like that. And then you can see that this cannot be a 2 down here, it has to be down there. So we'll just switch the 2 and the 5. Alright, now we can switch this 2 as well. Okay, I guess I did everything backwards. Okay, 5 is in this row, so we'll switch this 1 and 5. 7 and 1, because of the 1. Alright, so we've gotten very far already. Um, Alright, so this one now we can do this too. Uh, 6 minus, it's either 1 and 7, which is not possible. Okay, you can see two sevens there, or you can look up here. 2, 8, not possible, so it has to be 3 and 9. There's a 9 there, so that's 9 and 3. Okay.